Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Now, if you just joined us, we're talking about a statement that Diddy made yesterday. And uh, can we play a statement? Black vote is not going to be for free. You know, what are we getting in return for our vote? Nothing has changed for black America. And in order for us to vote for Biden, we can't be taken for granted like we always are because we're supposed to be Democrats or because people are afraid of Trump. It's whoever's going to take care of our community, whoever wants to make a deal, it's, it's, it's business at this point. You know, we can't trust politicians. Biden needs to make it clear that he's going to change the lives and quality of life of black and brown people. I will hold the vote hostage if I have to. First of all, I want to say what Diddy said in that video is what I've been on for the past year. That's why every presidential candidate that came to the Breakfast Club, I asked them, do they have a specific black agenda? Because I made up my mind a long time ago that I was going to vote my interests and my interests are Black people, you know what I'm saying? I'm not voting for ind individuals. And to me, the concept is simple. It's it, when you do business, when you do deals, you go in to negotiate the terms of what you want. That's how we need to start treating Democrats. If not, black people will be voting out of fear for the rest of their lives. And if you're being honest with yourself, conditions of black people have been the same in America for decades, regardless of who the president is. And we will not make any real systemic change in our communities until we change our approach to politics. I don't think it's too much to ask of a candidate like Joe Biden, who owes his political life to black people to meet some demands for black people. Number one, you want to know what those demands are? And this is where Diddy messed up because he didn't say what he wanted. Number one, I think a black woman running mate is a must. That should be non-negotiable, period. Joe Biden already said he would put a black woman on the Supreme Court. He committed to that. Great. We need that. And most importantly, Biden needs to adopt one of these black agendas and make it his own. I've been talking to y'all about Black Futures Lab, Black Agenda, which urges elected officials and government to make black people powerful through policy in the economy and our democracy, our families, our society, our communities and the legal system. Joe Biden can take things from that. He can take things from Bloomberg's economic black agenda, like wanting to invest $70 million in low-income neighborhoods throughout the country, increase the number of black homeowners, and doubling the number of African-American uh, small businesses if he's elected president. He can adopt all of those things to him, and he should, because he's the vice president to the first black president. How you work under all in black people for eight years, and you got all these other candidates, whether it's Bloomberg, uh, Mayor Pete, Elizabeth Warren, they had a black agenda, but you don't have a specific black agenda agenda yet it's quite well, simple and i don't think there's anything wrong with making those demands well let's open up the phone lines 800-585-1051 I, okay. I, no, I was gonna say no i'm just getting people online i was gonna say what kenny burns said now let's get it clear <laughs> i i'm not i don't necessarily like joe Biden. i'm gonna tell joe biden i'm gonna tell you why because <laughs> please don't vote for joe biden for president no no joe biden he's never even came on the breakfast club and every time he said he would come he said he'll bring his surrogate i don't think he spoke to our people but there is a lot of people out there that says hey I'm going to vote for anybody that's against Trump. And the reason this conversation came up is because Kenny Burns, who's somebody that used to work with Diddy and work with Rockefeller, he's in the industry. He says, Puff, this statement is very irresponsible at this point. The only option is to get Trump out of office. Come on, champ. Encouraging people to stand by is not an option. Hashtag vote or die. Yeah, and reading his comments... He didn't, he didn't say stand by. Diddy said, I'm going to hold my vote hostage. What happens when you hold something hostage? You hold it hostage until your wrong. demands are met. What is wrong? What's, what's just, wrong with ask? I'm, I know, but th there's nothing irresponsible about demanding something for your vote. The only thing Diddy did remotely wrong in that is he didn't say what he wanted. He said black agenda, but I guess he was too vague on that. A lot of tell people, the people feel, tell the people if you read you the want. comments, if you read the comments, a lot of people feel what Kenny is feeling. They're saying we I just saw, have to I saw get both out of office. But I mean, this is in, in Kenny's comments now. Now, what do you think? E? Yes, I was actually looking at Joe Biden's website to see what he has, because they have this whole uh, page highlights from Joe Biden's agenda for the black community and what he's planning to do. So it says he's investing over 70 billion dollars in HBCUs. And he's also doing loan forgiveness that works for public servants and double funding for the state small business credit initiative to three billion dollars to assist small businesses, especially those owned by people of color. He's talking about investing in the communities through housing. And then I know we also discussed this task force that he is uh, planning to 
to do. And then I know he has Bernie Sanders on board with him as well now and Kamala Harris and a lot of people endorsing him. But what I really pay attention to is who are you putting around you and surround who are you putting in office around you? I think that's what I find to be extremely important. And so I'm paying attention to who is endorsing and supporting Joe Biden. Who is he listening to right now? Because I look at somebody like Donald Trump, who is very dangerous, as we can see in particular during this pandemic. And I'm looking at who he has around him advising him because I don't think Donald Trump comes up with everything that he wants to do on his own. It's not a dictatorship. So what's most important to me right now is who are you putting into position around you? I would never say I'm holding my vote hostage. What I would say is that these are the demands that I want met. These are the people I want to see in position. And I would want to make sure that those things get done. Now, I will say this. I mean, for, for too many years, I think uh, I don't want to say we've been raised, but I feel like we've been conditioned that if they're Democrat, we automatically just vote Absolutely. Instead, of really, instead of really asking for something. And with That's Joe it. Biden, like I said, I don't necessarily think that he cares about our people. I, I honestly don't think that he hasn't stood up and said what he does now. It's all cool to, to accept these things because he knows he has to. But does he really care when he gets into office? Is he really going to implement these plans? I, I don't I, know. I don't but know, a lot but, of people but, feel like they have to do whatever it takes to get Trump out. But exactly. I'm like, but but, it, but but it's a campaign, right? So during the campaign, yes. you make you make a lot of promises. Make us some promises, mother effer. Simple as that. Black people give Democrats almost 90 percent of their votes in all elections. And we don't we don't ever ask for anything in return. I listened to AOC last week. AOC basically said the same thing Diddy said. She didn't say she's going to hold her vote hostage. She said she's going to support the Democratic nominee. But she can't go out there in good faith and endorse Joe Biden unless Joe Biden meets some demands for her people you know, Puerto Ricans or Latinos. So I'm not mad at that. There is nothing irresponsible about demanding something for your vote. And when he says, I'm going to hold my vote hostage, okay, hostages are held until demands are met. What's wrong with that? Well, let's go to one Sometimes line. Let's go kill one. the hostages. Let's go to one line. Hello, who's this? Hey, Victor, Victor, how you doing? Good morning. Hey, Victor, good morning. We're talking, uh, what was a statement that Diddy said? What are your thoughts? Yeah, yeah, to be honest, I'm with Charlemagne in a way, uh, you know, holding back... You know, the, 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 the vote hostage that doesn't mean that they're not voting for him. But what are you going to do for me, though? Just because I feel like the other dude, that doesn't mean that I'm going to vote for you automatically. What are you mm -hmm. going to do for me? That's the bottom line, man. Simple. It's going to give you. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me ask Simple. you a question. If, if he says, I'm not going to give you nothing, what, now what happens okay. in November? Let's just say he does. Okay, now let me ask you something then. Why should I give him if he's not giving anything back? We're stuck in the same boat. <laughs> well, if no, Joe Biden came out and said, I'm not giving black people nothing, I'm telling you right now, I'm not voting. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if he fixes Thank his you, mouth bro. to say that, if... I'm at right now, because I know yes! what's coming. That, that's that's bad, for, man. Well, thank that's you, political thank you for suicide. Going, Joe Biden, that's political suicide. Joe Biden says, hey, I'm not doing nothing for black people. Oh, word. Watch this then. Oh, you would, honestly, come on, no, no, Envy, answer the question real quick. If mm -hmm. Joe Biden came out his mouth... And said verbatim, I'm not doing nothing for black people. You'd vote for him? I don't, I don't think you heard me. I'm still not a fan of Joe Biden right now. I just, like, I'm, I'm not... just saying. Because you asked a hypothetical question. Correct. If he said, I'm not doing nothing for black people, you would vote for him as a black man. Now, nah, we in the same boat, bro. That's all I'm saying. I'm not showing we're, up we're for that. We in the same, bro. <laughs> but, a lot of, but a lot of people feel like by any means necessary, we just need to get Trump out. And that is the question. But 800-585-1051, let's talk about it. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Black vote is not going to be for free. You know, what are we getting in return for our vote? Nothing has changed for black America. And in order for us to vote for Biden, we can't be taken for granted like we always are because we're supposed to be Democrats or because people are afraid of Trump. It's whoever's going to take care of our community, whoever wants to make a deal. It's, it's, it's business at this point. You know, we can't trust politicians. Biden needs to make it clear that he's going to change the lives and quality of life of black and brown people. I will hold the vote hostage if I have to. I, I, I love the energy. Now, Kenny There's nothing Burns, irresponsible about demanding something for your vote. Now, Kenny Burns uh, is a, a young man that worked with Diddy. He also worked with uh, Rockefeller before. He has his own liquor podcast and all that. He replied, Puff, the statement is very uh, irresponsible at this point. The only option is to get Trump out of office. Come on, champ. Encouraging people to stand by is not an option. Uh, then he said uh, Puff uh, erased his comment and uh, blocked him. I will keep saying over and over, there's nothing irresponsible about demanding something for your vote. I think the only thing that Diddy did wrong in that, in that, in that video is he didn't you know, say what he wanted. I've been clear about what I want for the past year. What I want is a black woman running mate. 
That's a must. That should be a non-negotiable. Uh, Joe Biden already said he would put a black woman on the Supreme Court. That is great. And most importantly, we need Biden to adopt one of these black agendas that's out here. I don't. It can be Black Futures Lab black agenda. It could be pieces of Mayor Bloomberg's economic agenda. It could be pieces of uh, um, Mayor Pete's um, uh, uh, Douglas plan. Whatever it is, adopt one of these black agendas. Make it your own. OK, like, yo, you can't even lie to us, bro. It's a, it's a freaking presidential campaign. You can't even tell us what you're going to do, even if you don't do it. Well, a lot of people feel, uh, believe in what uh, Kenny Burns has said. Uh, one person said, if we don't uh, vote Trump, if we don't vote, Trump wins again. We saw this last term. Somebody said, oh, man, he just randomly said this on a Tuesday. The check must have cleared. Some people said, no, we have to uh, get Trump out of office. Some people says, no, we have to work. Beating Trump doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean better for us. So people- That's all I'm saying. Play. So let's go to hey, the phone Okay. Hello, who's this? Hey, what's up, Envy? It's Q from the Bronx. How's it going? Q from hey, the Bronx. Hey, Q! Up, you what, are, what are your Envy, thoughts? I'm, real, I, I'm really disappointed in you, man. I'm really disappointed in you. Why are you disappointed Joe in me, brother? Biden has done nothing to earn the black vote. He was one of the main creators of the 1994 crime bill. Along and 86 with crack laws. That put... Mm -hmm behind bars so many black men so i actually mm -hmm. i don't like mm -hmm. diddy but i agree with him right i don't know if you heard I don't, I don't know if you heard what i said but i said that joe biden is somebody that hasn't even come on a breakfast club and i don't necessarily like him either i said now, i'm, I'm saying what what kenny burns said i said a lot of people feel that way that is not what envy feels i'm saying but a lot of people do feel like the only goal is they have to get trump out of office I feel like any candidate has to have something for me and, and my community. My thing, and Joe Biden has been dodging the Breakfast Club to even come up here and talk oh, and I, wanted just to say this. Envy, I want us to stop. Why they okay. abuse us. That's why yes. they abuse us because they automatically yes. think black people are Democrats. And that's not yes. the case. It's I agree with you. It could be a Republican. It could be an independent. It could be a Democrat. It yes. could be Donald Trump. I'm, Absolutely. I'm really serious. If Donald Trump came with a plan to show you know mm -hmm. what? Black people have been abused for this amount of time. This is what we're going to give them. We're going to reform this. We're going to influx with these stimulus packages into our inner city communities. I'm going with Donald Trump. You vote in your interest. Ever is going to actually have a plan. And it's really crazy because look at this. The Holocaust never happened in this country, yet Jewish people received reparations. Mm -hmm. slavery built this country and black people have not received anything so joe biden to me right now he's an op he has done nothing he called him an op that's the truth though behind bars now nah, and, and he and, gotta earn it and you're right my brother i'm on god on god i will vote for donald trump hey, if he came nah, up i don't know about all that right. i don't know wow, about all that's that that's next level listen we can't we Thank can't you, brother. appreciate stuff. your call see, see, see people here in sound bites so you can't say things i would like i would just vote for donald trump he said he would vote for donald trump if donald trump actually put something on the table tangible for black people but you know you, you can break that up but envy only thing i want us to stop saying is we got to stop saying joe biden didn't come on the breakfast club because people think that we're personally attacking Joe Biden because he didn't come on the Breakfast Club. I don't give a damn if Joe Biden comes on the Breakfast Club or not. I want Joe Biden to have these three things on his table in order for me to feel comfortable voting for him. Number one is a black agenda. Number two right. is a black woman running mate. Number three, he already said he put a black woman on the Supreme Court. I want him to commit to those things for me to feel really, really comfortable going out to vote for him in November. Now, I, just feel, I just feel like he does a lot of comfortable interviews where I don't think they'll necessarily ask him the questions that need to be asked. And I think that he avoids our community a lot. I don't think he has anything on the table for our community. And I think he's done a lot to hurt our community. It hasn't even said, you know yes. what, what I did was I made a mistake and I'm sorry. I apologize. I made a bad decision i made a wrong decision in life we all make wrong decisions but it's it's what you do after that wrong decision to fix it yes Same he has difference. to atone he has to atone for the 94 crime bill through policy it's really not that hard like i really don't understand why people are so confused about what did he say there is nothing irresponsible about demanding something for your vote simple I think right now this is exactly what Trump supporters want to be happening. All of this uh, going back and forth within the Democrats and I'm not voting. I'm not doing this. I'm holding my vote hostage and all of that. I have been saying I pay attention to who people put in office around them. And I think that has been very important for me as far as deciding who I like and who I want to support and what policies they are going to be presenting uh, for us and what positive change they're going to be making. I've been looking at Joe Biden's website just to see what his proposals are and what his plans are. I wouldn't say that he's not doing, he doesn't have any plans at all, because I don't think that's true. But um, 
you know, for the black community. So I don't, I wouldn't say nothing because that's simply not true. Just based off of what I see he plans to do for HBCUs and the money that he wants to put into that and into education and into housing and development and the task force that he's now saying that he's going to do. I think you just have to keep on demanding those things. But I just hate to see how united the Republicans always are and how divided the Democrats always well, are. Well, you know why? Because Republicans fall in line. Democrats fall in love. You know what I'm saying? We have to love the individual. Republicans love their interests. And that's all we need to start doing. You know what I mean? You talk about the task force. OK, uh, the same task force that he wouldn't he doesn't even want a, a truth to t a truth to power speaker like Nina Turner on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, I would love the investment in HBCUs, but there's other things that we need. You know, we need uh, uh, housing. We need uh, I like the fact that Bloomberg wanted to invest 70 billion in low income neighborhoods throughout the country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to see the number. We need being I wanna, able to yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, care on there, estate. and he talks about expanding on Obama, Obamacare on his website, and he does talk about housing also on his website healthcare. for. Health, and so all of that is on there, but but we want to see all of that really come to fruition, and we also want to continue to keep building. I don't think anybody's plan has everything in it that we want and everything's perfect but we do have to keep on saying okay good we got this now we want this we want this and we want these things and that's by the way that's all Diddy's saying once again mm -hmm. I'm going to hold my vote hostage until my demands are met there is nothing wrong with that everything that we're saying is absolutely correct when you want something from one of these candidates understand that your vote is transactional I give you something you give me something are you, no, go, you you give but me something, I, I give you something. The thought of Trump another four years is very scary to me, and I will say that. Hello, who's this? This blue. Hey guys, I wanted to say thank you for taking my phone call. But I want mm -hmm. to say I I understand where Diddy is saying as far as uh what, what he wanted a black agenda, but this is not the time for that. Trump oh my God! Him back Let him talk. Up. Hold on, hold on. Let me talk, Charlemagne. He he been he's been rolling back human rights as far as he he want to nominate another Supreme Court justice. That's going to take away women's rights. He rolling back hoods or programs. He, he, he trying to take away people's voting rights. Like, I, I, I definitely want a black agenda. But, man, we got to get out there and vote and get this guy up out of here. Or we're going to lose more than what we even had before he came in. Thank you for talking. I feel... I feel you, but man, it feels like every single election, black people are, vo are forced to vote out of fear. Every single election, black people are choosing between the lesser of two evils. When are we going to get to choose for between our interests? When? If yeah, it's not it now, when? This would have been a great conversation during the primaries for Diddy to have. We were having it! Oh, I, I don't know about Diddy, I'm but that conversation Diddy. was, yo, that conversation was happening on the Breakfast Club. We're not gonna sit here and act like it wasn't. Yeah, and that, that, conversa that conversation we're, we're was about, happening on the Breakfast Club. Di we're talking about Diddy's comments right now, though. Well, listen, I'm not mad at Diddy right now either. Though mm -hmm. I'm not and mad I, at Diddy. Rattle the cage, Diddy. Rattle it. And I ain't going front, man. You know, reading his stuff on his site about highlights from Joe Button's agenda for the black community. Now, it's, it's, Joe it's, Button is not running for president, sorry, Envy. Joe Biden. It seems so vague. <laughs> Through his policies for education, yeah. Joe will ensure that black families can build and sustain wealth for themselves and their communities because home ownership is the key to building. This is vague, man. It's this is really vague. vague. It's not it's not a necessarily a plan. And that's this why is, I said you have to build on that. You like have we to talk say, about, okay, these are the things that I want met. I see you have this written. So how is that actually going to work? What's How is this being implemented? What's the money that's being injected for this? Those are all things that you have to make sure that you bring to the table. Like and, and violence and, against women, Joe will build on oh, the Lord. landmark violence against. Like, is this is so vague? It's not even saying what he's All doing. I, he's just saying I'm gonna build on the things that's there. It's not. That's like saying I'm gonna sell a car, and I'm like, yeah, this car is really fast, and you're safe if you wear your seatbelt. Like, All he's I not know, building on anything that's there anymore. That's there All before. I, all I know is the conditions of black people have been the same in America for decades, regardless of who the president is. And we will not make any real systemic change in our communities until we change our approach to politics. And I don't think it's too much to ask of a candidate like Joe Biden, who owes his political life to black people to meet some demands for black people. And by the way, he's right. You need both. You need an inside outside game. You need somebody rattling the cage saying, look, we're going to hold these votes hostage. And you need somebody else talking to him in another manner. You can do both because guess what? You know what people in Biden's camp need to be doing for him today, whether it's uh, Simone Sanders or Cedric or anybody, they need to be going to Joe Biden and saying, bro, we're going to have a problem on, on our hands in November if you don't get this black agenda going. We're going to have a problem on our hands if you don't pick a black woman running mate. Simple as that. I just well, feel like Diddy's a powerful person and he has access that he could get a sit down with Joe Biden. He could present these plans and could have people on the I mean, team with better. him and could support, you know, well, we I don't think know. Maybe for he him tried. personally, you know, know, he could.
Yeah, we don't know. That's Maybe right. he tried. Maybe he tried to get a conversation. Maybe that's, Diddy's that's like, right. nah, after denying my conversation, this is how I feel. And sometimes you got to throw right. it out there so I people understand like, and put the pressure on people. We've seen I it over and like over and over great- again position to represent for us and to really present some things that he feels like would be great for our community and also do that in conjunction with maybe a Bernie Sanders or in conjunction with Elizabeth, anybody. But I feel like he does have a lot of access more than the average person. All right. Well, we got rumors on the way. Yes, and we're going to be talking about a biopic that I can't wait to see that's in the works. Also, Tyler Perry is giving Black America a warning about people who have passed away from coronavirus, what they were lacking. All right, we'll get to that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.